In China, urine has a wide array of therapies. The pee from young children and babies is particularly sought after. From their youngest age, everything is done to enable toddlers to take a leak freely. You can even order urine from young boys on the internet. Such fluids can cost up to several hundred euros per glass. Those who don't like to drink it are free to eat hard-boiled eggs. In the city of Dongyang, near Shanghai, the pee of schoolchildren is used for boiling eggs. Wan takes the bus several times a day to retrieve the gold liquid. This bucket contains 75 liters of urine, and we can cook two large saucepans of eggs. Eggs cooked in urine are believed to have many virtues. These eggs protect us from the summer heat wave and avoid insulation. He who has body injuries can eat them too. Our ancestors taught us to use boys' urine, not that of adults, which is bad. He who likes this can accept the taste. It's a little salty, definitely tastes of urine. If you believe, you feel nothing. If you don't believe, you don't like eating them. The eggs cooked in school children's urine are a local Chinese delicacy, served in springtime. What is the opinion of this Western-educated doctor from Tonyan? From the point of view of Western medicine, it could help kill the microbacteria of tuberculosis and increase microcirculation. Not everybody is able to eat these eggs cooked in urine. People who have a problem with the taste, aches and pains in the joints, and those with a high level of uric acid should not eat them. The village of Wuchuan, near Zhan, is well known in China for its centenarian pea drinkers. How is your health? Good. Do you still drink your urine? Yes, for ages. Most of these smiling octogenarians are urine drinkers. In China, 10 million people drink their own pee every morning. Why do people live so long in our village? Around 30% of us drink urine. I drink urine once in the morning and once in the evening. The principal interest of urine for longevity is that there is urokinase in pee that can soften the blood vessels and increase blood circulation. This old man is called Wang Tong Chung. He is over 80 and still travels 30 kilometers by bicycle to deliver his vegetables. Is drinking pee good for our health? The debate remains. Sipped in small quantities, urine is not prone to be harmful for most people. But it seems difficult to swallow that this could be the universal remedy to all our flaws. The few unabashed scientists who plunge into pee occasionally make exceptional discoveries. We have her, you know, folklores on uh, patients uh, drinking their own urine or urine from other people and then they live longer. In China, we don't view that as uh, being a taboo. And culturally, as the Chinese, through our long history, we use almost everything for uh, any medical benefits. And urine turned out to be one of those two. Professor Pei and Dr. Pan belong to the Honorable Chinese Academy of Sciences. They have published and patented an original and revolutionary way of creating new cells, stem cells from human urine. Whether urine has hidden superpower, uh, that's a subject, of course, to many debate. But in our case, we knew uh, urine gave us very healthy cells, which can be used to generate high-quality neuronal stem cells as well as many other cell, stem cells in the future. So to us, 
that is kind of a magic. When we pee, many cells are released through the kidney and leave the body. Every day, almost 7,000 cells are naturally evacuated without harm and are fully functional. These cells are then reprogrammed to become undifferentiated and will take the form of stem cells. These stem cells are then placed into culture with the feeding cells. Here they can multiply infinitely. They will then become a cell of blood, bone, skin, liver, neurons. In the future, these new differentiated cells could be transplanted or frozen for future use in order to replace our ailing cells. Until today, science used cells from the embryo in order to create stem cells, but this method has raised important ethical questions. The cells in our urine open a new horizon, though they are genetically more complicated to manipulate than embryonic cells. This discovery is a great step forward for humanity in our research on stem cells. Our database will enable the production of stem cells of great quality. This most promising research is performed in a P3-level high-security laboratory. Uh, at this point, we have not move to the clinical testing phase. We should be able to generate the cells needed for repair. So in the future, uh, the cells we extract from urine can be turned into other stem cell types. Uh, those, for instance, can give rise to liver, maybe even give, uh, give rise to kidney uh, itself again. For Alzheimer's disease, we want to be able to make uh, stem cells which can be transplanted into the brain, which can repopulate the aging uh, neurons uh, in the patient and then eventually restore function. The first laboratory tests of reproducing neuronal stem cells, filmed here, are encouraging. Transplanted into the brains of newborn rats, they have not created a tumor. In the future, it will probably be recommended to place a pea sample in a specialized urine bank in order to convert them into neurons at a later date. If we collect an individual's urine at the age of, say, 20, right, and we can bank that uh, store in our facility, at the age of 80, that means 60 years later, and that urine uh, turned neuron can still be used for that particular person and his offspring if it's matched. Could urine be the elixir of immortality our ancestors have long been seeking? Is this the key in the battle against the degeneration of our brains? Whether urine can give rise to immortality will be a very interesting question to ask in the future. From our perspective, certainly, urine can give rise to very good cells for us to generate many different types of stem cells. Those stem cells can be used for therapeutic purposes, and in that sense, can save people's life and can probably even uh, help people live longer and healthier. Our pee is packed with assets and surprises. Life is full of surprises. For many of us in science, obviously science is also full of surprises. When we first discover cells are alive in urine, we actually take advantage of this finding and we can turn those urine cells into neural stem cells. That was a very big surprise and a very pleasant one as well.